Hey guys, it's Jazz here. Uh, I know I've said that I'll be doing this video a couple times, which I haven't yet done, so I'm doing it now. And it's a simple Flash animation. So we're going to start off by opening Flash CS3 and creating a new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. We're not using ActionScript, so it doesn't really matter too much, but just select it. And then down here, you'll have your properties, and I'm going to change my frame rate to 20 frames per second to have some nice, smoother animations. And, uh... You see this is our workspace and this is our timeline up here. So I'm gonna start with a motion tween. And I'm gonna show you before before Flash and before other programs introduced tweening, you'd have to dry out each frame individually by itself and it was a very time consuming process and it was difficult and yeah. Now with tweening it'll calculate all the frames in between if you set the first frame and the last frame and it's very cool, very powerful, and very useful. So we're going to start on frame 1, I'll just call this layer block, and I'll take my rectangle tool from the sidebar on the left, and I'll just draw out a block in the top left. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our selection tool and select the, bo the block, right click and hit convert to symbol, and we want a movie clip, I'll just call this block, or uh, rectangle. And so we want to move our block down there. Like I said before, you'd have to calculate each frame in between, and it was very difficult. So new frame, new frame, new frame. It took way too long. So we'll move this to the top left, and we'll go to frame 60, say, and hit insert keyframe. And then we'll move this down here, down to the bottom right. And if we look, it doesn't do anything, right? We need to, uh, we need to set the tween. So if we right click on here, we hit create motion tween. And that will calculate all the frames in between and give us a nice smooth animation. So if we preview, hitting command return, we see we get a nice smooth animation of the block moving from top to bottom and left to right. So let's take these frames away and whoops. So let's delete these. And I'll get rid of our block here, and I'll just create a new shape because we're gonna do shape tweens. So I'll just create a random blob here, just very random. Looks like a peanut. All right, let's give this a fill color. And for these, for motion, for shape tweens rather, you don't need. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. You don't need. Um, it doesn't need to be a movie clip. So let's move this up here, top left. Another cool thing about motion about shape tweens is even though it's a shape tween, it's supposed to change the shape. It'll also change the position if you set it in a different position. So let's go um, right click on a frame 50, say, hit insert keyframe, and move this down here. And then we'll take our direct selection tool and modify these points a bit to make it a completely different shape to look very different. Alright, let's just go like this and maybe bring these out a bit. Alright, so there we have totally different shape that I can actually make smaller. So let's just make that a bit smaller. And so if we look at our first frame, we have totally different shape from the last one. So. Let's uh, right click anywhere on here and hit create shape tween. And as you can see, it morphs our shape into the new one. And it calculates it exactly perfectly. Very cool, very powerful. So if we preview, we get a nice smooth shape tween that will also change the position. So let's, uh, now let's look at some motion guides, all right? So let's uh, take, get rid of this tween. Or get rid of these frames and we will right click on our block layer and hit add motion guide and we'll just use the same thing but this time we'll have to convert it to a movie clip so let's go convert to symbol movie clip shape and I'll just move this off to the side here and then on our motion guide we're gonna take our pen tool over here and just make a totally random path completely random just like that and then we're going to select both these frames, both the layers. 
by holding shift and pressing layer 55, doesn't really matter, and hit insert keyframe. So that inserts a, frame, a new frame for both of these. So if we go to our first frame, then we can select our movie clip and move this to the bottom left. And it'll snap to the, it should snap to the bottom of the of the uh, bottom left of the mo motion path. Now let's go to our last frame and make it snap to the bottom right over there. So first frame starts over there and it's gonna go up and around like that. So we'll right click and hit create motion tween. And as you can see, it follows the path. So if we preview this with command enter, command return, it follows the path. And paths are pretty cool. You can do uh, a couple things. So if we select our tween, we can set the ease. So we can set it to ease in. And then we can also make it rotate while it's turning. Or we can make it orient to path so it rotates with the path. So we'll preview that again. And as you can see, it follows the path. So that was just basic tweening. Um, make sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash Grayson. I'll be doing some giveaways soon over YouTube. So those, will, those should be some good giveaways. We've got some good stuff coming up. And uh, so definitely subscribe. You'll have to be subscribed to me for that. So subscribe to me on YouTube. Check out GilesVG.com. It's my personal blog where I post pretty much pretty regularly. And um, EqualTechNews.com, my technology blog. We're getting ready to do a, well, we're doing a major, major overhaul on the site for our first anniversary, which is coming up this Tuesday. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe. So talk to you later.